Hello BI Arcadas! We will be giving you an overview of the Central Business Portal. So what is CBP? Under Section 13 of RA 11032 or the Ease of Doing Business Act of 2018, the ICT shall be responsible in developing a central system to receive applications of different government agencies to eliminate bureaucratic red tape, avert graft and corrupt practices to promote transparency and sustain ease of doing business. In the said law, such a system will be called the Central Business Portal. Simply said, CBP is an online system to register with SEC, BIR, PhilHealth, SSS, and Pag-ibig. The CBP will be implemented in phases. The current phase involves the different government agencies in development or implementation of CBP. After knowing the background of CBP, let's discuss its key features. Registration of Corporation starts with Securities and Exchange Commission or SEC. SEC has its own process and system which is linked with CBP. Upon approval of SEC of the registration of the corporation, it issues a company registration number. The issuance of CRN triggers the start of the BIR process in CBP. For its initial implementation, the CBP shall be available to the following domestic corporations. Number 1. Corporations with 2 to 4 incorporators. Number 2. Regular corporations whose incorporators are juridical entities and their capital structure is not covered by the 25% 25% rule. And number 3. One-person corporation. In the succeeding phases, all registering corporations to SEC shall be required to use CBP. Let's go through the steps in registering through CBP. Step 1. Create and save account details. Step 2. Register a corporation. Step 3. Fill out and submit application form. Step 4. View application details and statuses. Step 5. Pay the fees and submit the documentary requirements. Step 6. SEC approves the registration and sends out the e-copy of the CRN. Step 7. Receive the approved status and the copy of the Certificate of Incorporation. Once the CRN is generated in CBP, meaning the registration of the corporation has been approved by SEC, in Step 7, the BIR process starts. Step 8. Answer the tax type questionnaire, fill out all the necessary fields. Step 9. Select payment method, either manual or electronic. At the end of the day, CBP will forward a report to BIR containing the registration and payment details, if any, of the taxpayer who used CBP that day. This information will be uploaded by the Systems Development Division to ITS and eventually to IRIS. Let's now have a look and feel of CBP. This is the homepage of CBP. Applicants or taxpayers have to sign up for an account to log in the system. BIR does not have access to CBP. We are just the recipient of the report at the end of the day. Once logged in the system, the applicant will be able to see the status of its application through the dashboard page. The authorized representative or user of the taxpayer can view the status of application. The screen shows that the application has already been approved by SEC and needs to complete the BIR requirements. The user will click the Go to BIR requirements and he will be redirected to the BIR portion of the CBP. Once you click the Tax Type Questionnaire, you will be redirected to the Tax Type Questionnaire screen. Your answer to the questions will determine the taxes to which the corporation will be liable to, so it is important that the applicant fill it out correctly. A summary of tax types will be shown on the screen for the taxpayer to see. Once saved, it cannot be undone. If there will be changes, the taxpayer should visit the revenue district their corporation is registered in. Next portion is the part where the taxpayer fills out all the important details of the corporation, including its PSIC, trade name, line of business, and many more. A list of values for 2009 version of PSIC is available for the taxpayer to choose from. For the payment, two options are available, manual and BIRE payment. The taxpayer should select one in order to proceed. For manual payment, the taxpayer should present the following documents. CBP Unified Application Form, Accomplished Tax Type Questionnaire, Certificate of Incorporation, BIR Form 0605 for ARF and DST. These printed documents, together with the original board resolution or secretary certificate, will be submitted to the NBRO of your revenue district and will be processed using the single window policy. For BIR e-payment, a pop message will appear on the screen and the taxpayer will be redirected to BIR website 
or the taxpayer can select which online payment channel will they use. After paying, the taxpayer will have to go back to the CBP and encode the details of the payment done. A certificate of registration will appear containing the necessary information of the corporation registered. The CBP automatically detects the correct RDO based on the given address. The format of the COR is based on IRIS. The electronic COR from CBP doesn't need a signature and bears a QR code that when scanned will show the registration details of the corporation. After the process is done, taxpayer will proceed immediately to the RDO of their corporation to buy BIR printed receipts or invoices to apply for authority to print its own receipts or invoices to be printed by BIR accredited printers. And that concludes our discussion on the Central Business Portal. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Please leave us a thumbs up if you like our video.